Ace Dampers, Dean again. Um, I'm going to make uh, a diamond fold card, I think it's called. And I've done it with designer series paper because I don't have any 12 by 12 cardstock. But I've got a bit rough on there when I was um, burnishing it with my bone folders. But I'm not going to be so rough today, but it opens like this. How sweet. And I love, I'm loving this stamp set. <coughs> Excuse me. I love the happy birthday from, this is from, blah, blah, blah. Oh, uh, uh, big on birthdays. And the little elephant, how cute is he? He's, from, he's a hostess gift from the Lots of Love stamp set. There's the happy birthday from here. And how cute are these stamps? This comes as a hostess gift, so have a party. Um, Give yourself some uh, free stamps. I'm going to use the little elephant because it's so cute. Uh, and I've done this one in... I think this was out of the up and away. Yes, because I'm going to be using the other colour today. But how sweet. And I didn't want to over gl glamorise it or anything. So I just give him a little rhinestone that he's offering to the mouse. So, and this folds away like this and goes in there to store it. We'll go in a normal size envelope. And I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it opens like this. So they can display their card. How sweet. Yeah, when it's lying, it's like that. It's just so adorable. I love it. I've seen a few versions on here. And I thought I'd give it a go. So I'm going to set this to one side. I'm going to pop my stamps to one side for a moment. And I'm using basic grey. Love that colour. I might even change that up actually and use real red. But no, I'm going to stick with the grey because the mouse is grey. So I'm going to tell you what you need first. You need a 12 by 12 piece of uh, design to paper. I'm going to be, it won't probably work out that way. But you need to trim it down to 11, and a half, 11 by 11. And then the trick is then uh, pop it in the corner, fold it over. So it's perfectly corner to corner. Can you see that? Oh, you can't see the underneath paper when it's closed. How, how I got it so straight, I'll never know. But I did. So <laughs> I've done that so far, but we'll carry on with the rest. You're going to need some cardstock then. I'm using real red. This is four by four and a quarter. And the basic grey then is three and three quarters by four. And a whisper white piece, three and a half by three and a half. And we're going to be stamping on this. This little piece you need is two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And it slots behind here. Otherwise you'll see the underneath piece of paper because we're going to leave that bit open. But I slot that behind. And well, it's going to be deeper in than that. But uh, And you adhere it to the bottom bit then. You don't see the back of the inside of this paper then. But I'll get to that in a moment. And that's uh, two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And you're going to need two more pieces of real red. They are uh, one and three quarters by one and three quarters. And another two pieces of the grey is one and a half by one and a half. They're going on the little diamond cuts on the corner. Like this. Let's get it straight. Like that they're going on the flat you can add stuff to them i added little butterflies um we can attack those in a moment but i'm going to move on to the scoring now on the long like i say you've cut it 11 by 11 you fold it perfectly in half how i managed it i'll never know but you need to be on the long side now and i'm going to put this i don't know if you can see you push it right up into the corner and we're going to we're going to score this at three inches. And five and a half inches. I'm going to turn it over now and do the same again. Right into it. So three inches 
and five and a half inches. Um, and then we're going to turn it this way. So we need, I think it's, if you set the top one at seven and a half, or is it seven and seven eighths? Yes, yeah, seven and seven eighths by seven and seven eighths on here. No, oh, it's seven and a quarter, sorry, by seven and a quarter. Um, and then we're going to score down the three and a half. So follow your line. And then we're going to score down the three and a half. And that's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave my stylus on the floor. <laughs> I'm gonna pop that to one side now. I'm just gonna grab my scissors. I've misplaced them. I don't know where my stylus is going, but I'll find that later. So now we're gonna fold and burnish these sides, and we need to do it both ways. So. We need it to be very flexible, so we need to burnish them both ways. Uh -huh. Yep. And the next side over. And the other way. they're all level at the bottom you can start to see the underlying paper now but we've got also we've got a little triangle here where we made that score line across there we're going to chop them out in a moment but I'm going to finish off no I'm going to cut them now before I go too deep cut along the score line And remove those this one's covered in little balloon so I, I don't know what way they're gonna run but uh, I like the color I'm not sure if it's real red or melon mambo but I'm using real red as the background card there we go, we don't need those. And I think that's all the cutting we're going to be doing. So I'm going to carry on burnishing my score line. Uh, we've done that side, yeah. I need to do this side now. So. Any of you ladies out there fancy coming to work? Well, coming to working for yourself as me as your upliner. There's a little link on. I'll put a link on the video at the bottom. It's going to say join me. There's a really good promotion at the moment. You can build your own kit. You start. You you decide what you want in your kit. You can tell it to you to the value of a hundred and thirty pound. You're also going to get a business kit catalogues, order forms, invitations worth £45. Instant income of 20% of everything plus you can go higher depending on your sales. Um, and an additional two extra stamp sets to the value of £93. For all that, it works out roughly you've got, what? Well, let me just jot this down for you, you've got £130 value, £45 business pack, up to £93 extra in stamps, so you're talking eight. £268 worth of product just for £99. You can't go wrong. Even if you took the business pack off, you're still going to get £223 worth of stamping equipment to start yourself. Plus all orders after that for yourself are 
20% off everything. You can earn more the more you purchase and the more people you get to buy from you. You don't even have to have people buy. I started it just for myself. So, but I'm loving it so much. We're going to get these corners now. But it's worth a look. And we're going to learn how to fold these now so they meet corner to corner up there because we're going to be because there's your little diamond flaps oh look at this one I've really shocked at myself I have got perfect creases I've got perfect lines and it's folded perfectly how sweet is this this is your first flap Whoa. Alice, but we're going to adhere all this down shortly except for this side because we need this flap open Hence the white piece of paper. So again, fold this all the way up to the top. Make sure we uh, get it right down to the corner like we did on that side. I don't want nothing showing from the underneath bit. How quick is this card coming together? How lovely. And this is how it folds then. Look, it folds like this, like this. And your top piece, fold it over. Scroll, finish this again. Tucks in to your little flap. So that's basically it. Now we're going to add the papers. Uh, but we're going to seal this up first. Except for this flap. You're going to adhesive everywhere except for this flap you're going to seal that one down because you don't want that one flapping open I'm going to show you that now so we open it back up and we're going to take I literally just went down the sides because it is just the sides we want closed close and along here close close and I'll talk to myself but we can go all the way down on this side, all the way across, up to here, because we're not going to close that corner, and then we're going to move through the centre, and now we're going to put that together, so we are going to... I've done the wrong corner. No, I haven't. Oh, I have. Come off now. No, I'm going to have to do it like this. No, I haven't. I am. Yeah, I am. I'm going to... I'm a dodo sometimes. Right, it's all closed. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to tell it. No, I haven't. Ha, ha, ha. I knew I didn't believe that bit. I glued everything else, set it in shut. Phew, I thought I'd done it again. I'm going to glue this now. But not towards the top, just say in the middle, around and down. Because this bit's poking out and we don't want it. We just want it to hide this back piece of paper. How sweet. So there's, look actually, it's even got a little border. No, it's not straight, but I can trim that down. In fact, I'm gonna do that now. So it's level. That's better, so it looks equal. So now this is a deer down. This closes. I just keep reinforcing these. This closes. And this tucks into there. Oh my god, how cute. But I might even, I did on the last one, cut two pieces because I don't want to see that paper there. So I'm going to cut another piece of white and stick it at the front and give it extra strength like I've done with this one. 
Look, I glued it to the back and to the other side because I didn't want that other paper showing through. So that's it, we're ready. We're going to do some assembly in there. I'm going to glue my grey to my red. Sorry about my machine, it's squeaky as hell. And again as well. How squeaky is that? <laughs> They are squares turned into diamonds now. A nice healthy border all around. Yeah. Oh, see. The other one I had to go and trim all the way around because I didn't have it close perfect. But that's perfect. I can't see any of the other paper in or oh, tingy little bit there. Going to keep your gobs up, innit? So there's our first lap sorted. Now we're going to stick our second lap. I can't wait for tomorrow. I'm going to be pacing my first order for the year in and well, I just, my head's going to go crazy. It's been I said, over £400 again. But you know me, I want everything out of the catalogue. So. Right, now to our other layer. Oh. And it's coming apart, so you can use tear and tape, you can use fast fuse. I just think my snail's fine. Perfect. I'm not going to... Well, I'm going to attach this now. Because I've only got my uh, stamped whisper white then to attach. way round so the four and the quarter bit goes across this way and the four goes down. So it's almost finished. Um but I'm gonna do my stamping now. I use the grey and the red because I'm using grey on my stamp and I've got to get this the right way now. Three and three quarters by three and a half so it's that way. And I'm going to open this up. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. Well, you can turn them into anything you want. Valentine's card. I'm going to pull this down a sec because I need to see the top. I love these stamps. I just love that happy birthday sign. It's just absolutely wonderful. Look how beautiful that is. And there goes my little gorgeous little cutie pie elephant. And like I say, it's a hostess gift, so they give, they give you um, a choice of clear mount or wood mount, and I always opt for wood mount when it's a free choice. There's loads of things for sale in the celebration catalogue as well that are clear or wood. Go for the wood. Oh my god, how adorable is he? I just love it. That's me stamping over with two things and I get it on my fingers. And now I'm going to attack. I'm going to give that a second just to make sure it's fully dry because I don't want to turn him over and smudge him. But 
you could do these anniversary cards, birthday cards, birthday cards. They're just adorable. You could perhaps even um, put another flap in, say, on the side here, and put a gift card in. Or just glue this three weight, three quarters, three three sides. And slip a gift card in the top. But we're virtually done. It's just so beautiful. Now I added, like I say, a little rhinestone. As if the elephant is offering a little gift to the mouse. Because I don't know how to draw a piece of cheese. <laughs> I do, I'm only joking. Um, and there we are. I'm going to leave it at there. I'm going to decorate it a bit more later. But for now, you can do whatever you want. You can have whatever you want on here. You can put, I don't know, what punch have you got? You could put a love art on there. Um, just keep it. Make sure it's all burnished properly on it. It's just adorable what well, it's done anyway, so I'm going to decorate this one on my own later. But for video purposes, I've finished for now, but I hope you enjoy it. And I hope whoever you give one to. I, this is why, another reason we um, do it both sides, so when it's, the card stands up, it uh, can be seen from... It's just gorgeous. And if you wanted to as well, add um, a piece of white card on the back. So you can write your, sent, uh, your messages there and who it's to and who it's from. Um, but there you have it. So if you want to come and join me, I've put a link onto my shop so you can buy the products that you need to make this uh, card. I'll also put a link on to the join me now. Even if you just take a look, I'll be your upline manager if you do join. And I would be really, really happy to and help you support you in your business. Uh, as much as I've been helping mine. Um, but uh, that's another thing for you to consider. Just think that £268,000 £268, for the products for £99. Oh, can't go wrong. Come join me. Even if you just do it yourself, you don't have to sell to anybody else. Just come and join me. Let's get 20% off everything for life. So, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up, share and, and a subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.